Residents in northern New Mexico say they're living without propane to heat their homes. Now the attorney general's office is launching an investigation into why. News 13 Stephanie Chavez spoke with one family. It's freezing up here. This morning I'm up at my mom's. It was 2.7 degrees. Temperatures way below freezing up in northern New Mexico and a lot of the residents in the area don't have any propane to heat their homes. I'm hearing stories of people having to sleep in their cars. Just last week, a massive windstorm ripped through the area, dropping temperatures into the teens and leaving hundreds of people without electricity too. They don't have propane and they needed electricity for space heaters, but then there was a power outage. Beverly Ortiz says her mom lives in Los Ojos, New Mexico. She's been receiving propane from Bob's LP gas out of Pagosa Springs for years, until now. And I finally ended up having to get another propane provider because I couldn't get them to deliver and my mom was running out of propane. We reached out to Bob's LP to find out why they haven't been making their deliveries. Bob Sivers, the owner, says they're dealing with a driver shortage. He says one of their trucks also failed inspection, making it undrivable. Ortiz says her mom is still waiting for a refund from Bob's LP. As they claim they can't refund it until they pick up the propane tank, which leads to the other issue is they're shorthanded, so they can't pick it up. Now, Attorney General Hector Balderas is launching an investigation in response of multiple reports just like Ortiz's. And also he issued a risk advisory uh, to residents. Basically, it's a means to uh, get more feedback and better define the extent of the, the propane crisis in northern New Mexico. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. We asked Bob's LP why Ortiz hasn't received her money back yet. They say they were unaware and will be sending her a check in the mail. The attorney general's office is asking for anyone experiencing the same kinds of issues to contact their office.